Hello, so I thought I'd quickly film a pencil case collection video, so I'm just going to go through and show you all the pencil cases that I currently own. So I will save the kind of most fun ones for last, the most strange ones that I have, and start off with the ones that I use kind of the most. These are from Daiso, actually I have two of them, um, two different colors, I have the teal color and the pink color, and I use these all the time because they have three zippers. Um, I just find them very useful. They have kind of a grid design and they're pretty durable. I think they're like kind of water resistant, although that could be not true. Um, but yeah, I just use them all the time for traveling, but I've uh, been using them for school a lot lately. So those are really great. They're probably like $1.50 or something. This is one that I haven't really used yet, but I really like the look of it. I think that it was just a free bag that a friend of mine got from whatever brand, Ipsy, I guess. But I just really like the way it looked. It has this weird uh, texture to it. It kind of reminds me of like bubble wrap or something, but it's just a light baby pink and I thought it was really cute. Next I have this little Ikea bag. It was really inexpensive and I mostly just got it because I just liked the way it looked, but I really didn't have a need for another pencil case. Um, but it's just baby pink and it has these black paint spatters on it. And it was, like I said, really inexpensive. So I <laughs> kind of just had to get it. These are three that I use all the time. Um, they are uniform in terms of size, so they're really great for keeping different types of pencils like together, but ones that I use all the time. So I use these quite a bit. Um, they kind of have this like prairie vintage design to them, which is really cute. Um, this one's just like a light brown, a little darker blue, and then a lighter blue. And yeah, they're just really cute. I think um, my friend got them on Amazon maybe. Um, but yeah, they were a birthday present, I think, or a Christmas present, maybe. This is a classic, and I really love this one. It's obviously Totoro, and it's just really cute. I always get compliments on it, and I got this one on Amazon for really inexpensive, and I just really love it. I like to travel with it, because it's pretty big. And this is one that um, my mom and dad got me for Christmas or for graduation or something. It's got pastels in it, so I just keep those pastels in there. And this is a really cute one from Daiso. I didn't need another little bag, and this isn't really can even be considered a pencil bag because it's so tiny. Um, but it's definitely like a little like I don't know card bag, or maybe if you had a small like crowns or something, you keep them in there. It says baby on it. It's really soft and it has these bunny ears and a little bunny tail. I just think it's adorable. But because <laughs> it doesn't have like a string on it and it's so tiny, I don't use it very often. But it's very cute and I like the way it feels. And here is another really cute Daiso bag, also really inexpensive. It has a little drawstring. I use these for my bentos a lot of time or for just putting snacks in. And it's got these little ears that you can kind of see whenever it's closed. Um, and I also have a bear version, but I can't find it right now. I use it all the time, so hopefully I can find it. But yeah, it's just a really cute little black cat. This one also probably wouldn't be considered a pencil bag, but I kind of keep them in the same area. It's just a little hamster. It's really cute. He's a little drawstring bag. Um, it's really small, so it's probably more like a coin purse or a wallet holder. Um, but yeah, he's just really cute, and so I keep him in there for in case I need to like bring anything small with me. <laughs> And this is another really small bag that I don't find myself using that often, but I absolutely love it. It's a little pair of panties. I just think it's so freaking cute. It's from my friend Marisol from a while back. And yeah, it's just really cute. It has this like plasticky feel to it, but it's not adorable. It's just a pair of panties. <laughs> and this is another favorite I have from Marisol. It is a little rabbit, and I love this one. It's probably my favorite pencil bag. Although I don't use it very often because the case itself is not that big and it's pretty bulky so it's more of a accessory but I really love it. It's like probably my favorite out of all the pencil bags just because it's so cute and it's like such a scruffy looking old rabbit. Um, yeah, I just love it. And this is a really cute one from Milk Baby, um, Justin Wallace. I really love the design of this one. Unfortunately, it's kind of also pretty small, so I don't really use it that often. But it'd probably be good for like stickers or something because it has it keeps its uh, shape really well. Um, but yeah, it's just so cute. It's like a little cell phone. I love it. It's so cute. And last but not least, my fish. I haven't taken this fish with me to school yet, but I probably should 
because it's the funniest looking thing if you just like have it slapped on your desk or whatever um, it looks really real um, especially when you're just not expecting it or you've never seen one of these before when I first bought it it came like in a freezer bat like in a freezer case like a plastic tray and I put it on the oven or something or no I put it in the refrigerator and took a picture and told Trevor we're having fish tonight and he thought it was real so that was pretty funny um, but yeah, it's kind of a small one also. You probably can't hold a ton of stuff in here because of the weird shape, but I really love this one. It's so funny. I think I just got it on eBay, but they have it on AliExpress and all kinds of stuff. It's hilarious. Well, that's all my pencil cases. Um, clearly, I'm a big fan of pencil cases. They're always so inexpensive and adorable, and it's just really hard to pass them up, so <laughs> it's hard not to collect them, but um, I try to switch them out based on like the season or or if I'm just getting kind of tired of one, I want to try another one. But yeah, kind of an impractical thing to collect, but it's a lot of fun too. And I do have a lot of pens and pencils and stuff, so maybe it's not the most impractical thing to collect. Um, but yeah. This is the magic of making a video. I've just got a bunch of dresses <laughs> thrown on the bed. And of course, Scamp has to lay on them because she's a pretty little princess, right? Yeah, of course.